So what a perfect morning to go fishing. It is a little bit on the chilly side, about 40 degrees this morning and it's almost June. I really don't think that's gonna stop me from catching a few fish this morning. I'm out here on my John boat fishing a small kind of shallow pond. And today's video is, in my opinion, pretty exciting just because this is the first time I get to try out my new Corrado I bought. Not brand new to the market, it's been around for I don't know, 15 years or so. But I just picked up this reel. And this is the first time I'm using this jointed swim bait right here. And on top of that, it's the first time I'm using this G Loomis E6X medium heavy. So a lot of first today. And this is the lure I'm gonna be using today. It's from Valley Hill. It's called a Valley Hill Boogie Back. And this is like a wake bait. As you can tell, there's a lip on it. And with that lip facing almost straight down, it's a obvious wake bait. And it's in a natural bluegill color with a little chartreuse head. I think that's a cool little touch. The reason I decided to throw this bluegill lure is because in my area of New Hampshire, I believe some of the smaller ponds are finally post-spawn. So now that the bass are off the beds and they're going to be feeding up, I think they're going to be taking revenge on some of those bluegill that I've been messing with them all spring on the beds. And this bait here is 40 grams and 95 millimeters. And 95 millimeters is roughly three and three quarter inches. And 40 grams is about 1.4 ounces. It is the perfect morning to be fishing. I don't know what I'm doing talking. I don't even have my GoPro on yet. I need to get to stepping. And this particular swim bait here has a, like a one knocker rattle in it. So when I reel it on the top of the surface nice and slow, it's gonna be a nice little clack, clack, clack noise. And uh, I already po apologize in advance. I forgot an attachment for my mic, so I can't use my mic. I have to use the default audio on my GoPro, which is not that good. And with the little bit of rain, we've been having it cloudied up the water a little bit. So this, so this pond isn't as clear as it was last time I was here, but I think that's actually going to help me because I am using straight 65 pound braid. I probably should uh, mess with the brakes before I just uh, start bombing casts. Got him. Got him. It's pulling hard. Whatever it is. Look how fast it's turning the boat. What is it? 
It's a nice bass. It's a nice bass. Yes! <laughs> On the buggy back. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at that fish. <laughs> That's a solid four, four and a half pounder right here. It might even be pushing five. All right, first bass for me this morning. Suck. And it is a solid bass on that boogie back. Let's put you back. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that for the first fish today. Oh, almost just hooked myself. But uh, that is sweet. First bass today. I got to uh, keep them up high, up over this beaver dam. That is another nice bass. I'm probably gonna have to net this one too. I'm flipping him. Oh my goodness. The boogie back strikes again. Oh, look at the size of this one. <laughs> Look at the size of this bass. That's a three pounder, easy three pounder. Nice thing about this bait too is that bill on the front of this really acts like a shovel almost and it will push the lily pads up and out of the way. So I can cast this bait even though it has two treble hooks into pretty thick lily pads and not get hung up. Look at him spin this boat. Oh, what a nice pickerel. What a nice pickerel. Whoa. Hey, I don't mind if you spit, bud. You got big teeth. What a nice, nice, nice pickerel. Now if he could stop flopping around. Ooh, meaty pickerel. Look at him. That's all of three pounds right there. Another solid fish. That's actually my biggest pickerel so far this year. Got him. Can't tell if he was stuck or, yeah, he was just stuck.
another pickle. Oh my goodness, another nice pickle too. Not as big as the other one, but... <laughs> okay, you can go. Get out of here. On the cast, my GoPro died. I caught the littlest fish of the day. Just a little pickerel. But literally, like, my GoPro died, and two seconds later, I got bit again. But I don't know if you guys can see it, but unfortunately, the trail to get out of here is right behind me. And unfortunately, I didn't have too much time to fish this morning, but it did end up overall being a very good morning. I caught those nice bass right off the bat on this Valley Hill boogie back. It's called, and I think this bait looks super cool. It imitates a bluegill perfectly. And one of the things, and one of the issues I have with some bluegill baits is they're too tall, and it's just hard for the bass to get in their mouth but I think this is like the perfect profile between too skinny and too tall. But I just think this looks super cool. And I bought this bait from the Hookup Tackle over in Arizona. The thing about the Hookup Tackle is that they sell Japanese only lures and I believe you only can get this lure in Japan, unless you go through places like the Hookup Tackle, not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just think their store is really cool. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.